Charlie Chaplin won third place in a Charlie Chaplin look-alike contest. Hi friends, how you doing? We're here to drink beer and we're going to turn the tables today. How? With that. And that. Well, not so much that. that. Anyways, I have a turntable. I got a Sinatra. Sinatra album, 65. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, we got Great Lakes Brewing Company, Turntable Pills, a Czech style Pilsner. Flip that record and wax nostal nostalgic about Ohio's deep cut music legacy with our refreshing Pilsner. Consider yourself reissue a style, classic style. GreatLakesBrewing.com and eh, I like that. I like that. They're, they're, uh, they're making a comeback now. Uh, uh, records. Yeah, they, you know, they're buying them up and listening to them and getting a jive on. Uh, I heard cassette tapes are coming back too. I don't wait for eight tracks, man. Eight tracks. I had an eight track once. Uh, a couple of different eight tracks. Uh, ACDC. Uh, ELO, I had ELO, yeah, yeah, pretty good, I like that, I like the ELO, you know, pretty fine, pretty good music there, pretty good music there, that is very clear, that's a very clear, that looks like a, you know, a, 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 a standard, standard American beer, right there, I'm surprised that it's that clear, coming from, you know, a, a, well, they're a pretty big brewer, hey, why not? Yeah, it smells like a it smells like a regular beer. Well, that's a it's good, but it has a uh, cereal flavor. I'm saying cereal. Um. Uh, corn? No. Some kind of barley or something. Some kind of cereal flavor. Like someone ground up cereal and threw it in there and took the cereal out and left the flavor. It's okay. I'd buy a six pack of this. Hell, I did buy a six pack of this. Yeah, I got. I have to look around for some more of their beers. I've had quite a few of them. I really like Sam Adams. They make a lot of damn different beers. I think Sam Adams makes more. This is pretty good. I get. I, I like this. I can drink this every day. Yeah, it has a a funny little flavor. I think if you drink Budweiser, you could probably you could probably tolerate this. Yeah, but if you're like 21 years old and you're just starting to drink, you probably wouldn't like it. You probably wouldn't. You know, it has a dry finish on it. I, I can taste a little dry in there. Um, if you're 21, you probably wouldn't want to drink this. You don't really know different beers that much. And I had what, maybe five or six different kind of beers. Eh, I barely know the difference. If you had Budweiser sitting next to this and Bush, I could tell them all apart. But you know, this one has a little bit better flavor. A little bit better. I like it. It's a little bit different. And uh, yeah, I think it was like. Maybe ten bucks a six pack. Not bad. They don't say. Oh, they do give you the IBUs on there. Hell, I'm blind to one. I can't see out the other. I didn't even see it. That's five point three percent alcohol. That ain't bad. Thirty-five IBUs. Yeah, I, I did get a little bit of a, a little bit out of there. Established in 19, 1988. It's my birthday. No, it was established in uh, nineteen eighty. Great Lakes Brewing Company. I didn't know that. Anyways. The Guinness Book of World Records holds the record for the most, most stolen book <coughs> from public libraries. Dang! That's pretty cool. Imagine that. Imagine that. Get a turntable. Get yourself some turntables and drink some beer. And enjoy some good music and a nice beer. Cheers. <laughs>